If only this game came out like three years ago, maybe I wouldn't have gotten divorced. The game that we're talking about is It Takes Two, which is a game by Joseph Ferrez. Um, you might know him from Brother, A Tale of Two Sons, A Way Out, or It Takes Two. So, Alyssa, why do you say that? What, like, how did that pop into your head that you were like, as you were playing this game, you're like, do you know what? If I had to play this game, maybe. Like, what's so good about this game? First of all, I definitely still would have gotten divorced, but maybe this would have helped, you know, along the way, because not only is the story just about a couple that's on the precipice of a divorce and their daughter who makes this wish that they won't get divorced and they have to stay friends. Um, and that turns them into two dolls that then has to navigate this insane adventure world. Um, but the nature of the game is so reliant on the two people playing it because you're forced to play two person co-op. You can't play it alone. And if you don't work together, you literally can't finish it. So it's an analogy on top of an analogy in gameplay. <laughs> like it's nice. it's heavy handed, but I think it works. With that reliance on co-op then, the co-op gameplay must be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's clearly well thought out. It's There are moments where you'll have different Different tools like uh, Cody and May is the couple. You'll Cody will have a certain tool and May will have a different one. In the gameplay that I was had a chance to preview, I was May and I had a hammer and Cody had nails and he was able to shoot the nails into little wooden slats and then I could use May's hammer, the back of it, to swing along things and close gaps. Or I would literally be smacking something, a platform that would shoot up and Cody would have to nail it at a certain point so we could jump across. I was partnered up with a random person, which was actually quite funny because we ended up kind of becoming friends through it. Um, nice. And there were moments where we had to be like, wait, how do we, do you have to shoot this? Do I have to shoot this? Or there was even times when he only had a set amount of nails and he was shooting platforms for me to jump on and he would have to pull one nail out as I was jumping and time it perfectly or else I would fall into like this weird goo. Okay, cool. So this sounds like a complex but bonding game. Yes, yeah. Um, Joseph told us in the preview, you will fall in love after this game. <laughs> and I did not fall in love with the person uh, that I was playing with. They seem great, but we definitely quickly built up a rapport that I don't think we would have normally, like if we were just sitting next to each other at a game preview or if we bumped into each other somewhere. They're also offering you, like if you buy the game, you can get a free copy to give to your friend. So the idea is, yeah, it's they really want you to play it with someone. You can also obviously play couch co-op like side by side with someone because it is split screen. So it does work really well that way. But they really want you to Hazelight and Joseph like really want you to play with someone that you know. And I think it's because you really do kind of go through the the ebbs and flows of a relationship, not only in the story, but in the gameplay. It's They're really tied together. So it's very interesting to see how relationships will come out of this. Yeah. It's stylized, but it's also like quite heavy hitting bits of it. It's a lot like a rom-com and um, you'll have to bleep me or excuse me, but during our, our preview, Joseph was like, who the f else is doing rom-com games? And like, you know, it's literally that, like, they, no one really is. Uh, and then he went on a rant about how they should have dropped it on Valentine's Day, which was very funny. But it is it is a rom-com, like, they're the two main characters, Cody and May, are voice acted really, really well as well. So it feels a lot like the bickering couple in, like, a Tom Hanks movie. Like, it it works. Right. And so it's, it's really, like, lived in and it feels real and... I rarely leave a preview of a game and I'm like, oh, I wish I had a little more of that. And I, I wished I had a little more of that, so. If you're watching this and you're vaguely interested or you like co-op games and you've got a partner that you're obviously locked down during Corona with and you want something to play, this seems like a great game to pick up. It really is and like, it's, I mean, he said it flat out when we started. He was like, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you get bored of this game. And, and I was like, I mean, it was a one-way camera so he didn't see me go like, Oh, that's a bold statement. But oh. like, it, I mean, I can see how it, that would be the case. Because first of all, the gameplay is fantastic. But then also, like, I don't know, I think you'd see so much of yourself in these moments, even if you're not a bickering old married couple with a child that I can see why he's so confident about it. It sounds, it sounds fantastic. And it is one of those things where co-op is so overlooked. Um, and yeah, so I do think it's one of those ones where if people are interested in saving their relationship, all making a all making a thousand dollars, like win win really. Thousand dollars would have helped pay for my divorce, so 
I do like the fact that you shot yourself in the foot walking out of there going, I really want to play more of that game. And then he was like, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! I could use that G note, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's going to be excited to play it. It's definitely something um, that we're looking forward to and we'll have a review up on the site. So if you are interested, uh, keep checking out Games Radar and our review of It Takes Two to see what we thought of it and if you should pick it up at the moment. Seems like it's a slam dunk, really. 